Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rosie with Rosie's Fab Finds. Hi, how are you? It's been a minute since I've been on here. Yeah, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing good. Yes, so today I have a Dollar Tree haul and it is amazing. Yeah, um, first I want to show you this. Now, you guys are wondering, what in the world are these? Thumbnail. Yeah. So, this is an item that I found at the DT recently. And, oop, I'm sorry. Let me adjust the lighting here a little bit. Um, and, whoops. <laughs> let me adjust it just a tad bit more. There we go. Oh, no. We turned it off. What's going on? Hello. Okay. <laughs> so that's a little better. And it is called Cirrus. And it is curly and ripply um, hair tool. Yeah. And it comes in this big, huge box. Now, I didn't know what it was until I got it home because I wanted... Uh, you know, I saw it for $1.25, and I'm like, uh, yes, please. <laughs> so, it comes apart like this, the box, and it has instructions all in here. You can see that. And then, this is a contraption that <laughs> it looks like. So, I was kind of confused, too, and there's, you know, the label. It says Cirrus. This um, can run up to 30 some dollars on eBay and Amazon and wherever else. Um, it is a styling tool and it is supposed to lift the hair on the top um, or wherever you want body and it has like a little, it's not battery operated, it's just manual. You do like this, you squeeze this. These brush heads are creating like a little poof on your head. And it has um, different styling tools. Here is, I don't know if you can see it, the little wavy part here. And these come out. And you can interchange them with these. So, um, cool. <laughs> it does say um, it's, uh, I think, patent or pen, patent pending. Meaning it doesn't have a patent yet, but... Um, that may be why it's at the DT. I'm not sure. But, I mean, this is really cool. I mean, for somebody that, you know, wants to do their hair and, like, a little uplift, you know, how um, some of us ladies, you know, like me, um, we're losing hair, a certain age, menopause, you know the deal. So, <laughs> um, this will probably help with that. So, I haven't checked it out yet, but there are um, some YouTube videos on it. So it is Cirrus, C-I-R-R-U-S. And that's what the box looks like, okay? And this is the styling tool. It's red and black, and it has that little handle on it. So I just wanted to show you that. So yeah, I grabbed a couple of these, um, you know, and if I, you know, don't use them, I will just, you know, do a giveaway or I will donate them, whatever with them but I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was really really cool and I was happy to find those and it's at a, usually a Dollar Tree that I don't frequent much but I did that day and I was very happy I did <laughs> so moving right along um, I found another name brand item pardon my reach and this was in the bin with the dollar t-shirts um, and this is a name brand it's mossy oak and you'll find these um usually at dick's sporting goods um different department stores and that and it is this beautiful beautiful like um pink long sleeve t-shirt and i thought it was so cool and it says mossy oak in like this um like camo print on the front and this bright pink so this was the only one that I saw in my size. Um, they did have smaller ones for like kids with short sleeves, you know, all camo stuff. But I absolutely love that. For $1.25, uh, even if I have a couple uses out of it, 
use it to paint or clean. Who cares? You know, you didn't pay a lot for it. So that I thought was a super, super deal. Now, let me show you a few other items. Um, this is in no particular order. You know how I roll. I don't, I don't do all the categories and that. Sorry, but, um, don't have time. <laughs> um, this is another hair accessory and it is by Gimme, uh, three medium claw clips and it is no break design. So I need that for my hair since it is thinning out in areas and that, um, I do have alopecia. It's called alopecia area. Er, errata, areata, <laughs> something like that. But um, it comes in random spots. I do have bald spots coming out. So that's mainly why I'm insecure about my hair. So sometimes, most of the time, you'll see me with my hair back um, and a ponytail and that. I know it's an insecurity of mine. Um, and I try to, when I cut my hair, I try to leave it like that. But then I go back to pulling it back. I know it's not the greatest for hair loss, but you know here we are Ooh, and i have a little too much blush on this side what happened oh goodness <laughs> sorry about that guys I look crazy today <laughs> so anyway um this is the gimme um i think i already said that three medium claw clips and they're no break so good deal name brand again yep uh next bag let's see what we got in our goodie bag here Oh, this was super cute. I don't have little kids, but um, I just saw this and it reminded me of my girls when they were little. They loved this show. It was, um, I think, PBS? Yeah, something like that. And um, the girls loved it. Arthur. Who doesn't love Arthur? And DW and um, Buster Baxter. <laughs> All the kids show, yeah, that we're on Arthur. And this is a little plushie. It's a little cute little plushie. And it does say plushie on that. And it's Arthur on there. So I thought he was super cute. He had to come home with me. Um, I'll probably donate this. I'm not going to keep it. But I just wanted to show my girls. They got a kick out of it. So <laughs> they're adults now. <laughs> but I thought this was super cute. And I couldn't pass him up. So there he is, Arthur. <laughs> They, um, that was the only one they had, actually. So, that style on me. Uh, let's see. Oh, found this cute little bucket hat. This is also probably going to be donated, but it is in that B theme. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute it is for a little girl or something, a teenager or whatever. Um, I don't know if they're into bucket hats, but look at how cute this is with the bees on it. And it's pink. It's by Juncture. There you go. Um, and it does say, whoop, what does it say? Just hat. <laughs> doesn't say the size or anything, so I think it's just one size. Polyester, so there's that. Isn't that adorable? Very cute. Um, let's see. Next item I picked up, I did find this in the essentials. Um, you know, the storage and all that stuff. Uh, this is a jumbo storage bag. And I think I saw Frugal J haul this. Um, and it's for under, you can put it under the bed or whatever. Um, you know, maybe I'll put sweaters or a blanket in there or something. You know, when you want to store it away. So, I thought that was cool. These are not really sturdy, you know. It's not for any real high-end stuff. You know, like if you have really good stuff to put in there, don't put it in here. So, <laughs> Just a forewarning, you know, um, it's not the best quality, but it'll do in a pinch. So there's that. And it's a jumbo size. Uh, let's see what other goodies we got. Okay. These are just repeat purchases. Um, this is the little uh, doggy waist bags for my little doggy Elsa. And it has the little donut and the cactus on it. Super cute. Yep. So it comes 60 pieces, one, two, three, four little rolls. So there's that. And then I found this where the home stuff is too. Isn't this adorable? It's like a little dustpan and a little brush. Great for, you know, small areas, you know, maybe in the bathroom or in your car. Um, just when you want to quick pick me up, you know, with the crumbs or something. And I thought that was super cute. It comes both of them for the $1.25. So not bad. 
Um, let's see. Whoop. And the last one in this bag is this. Um, as you all know, I'm doing like little baby shower gifts. You know, like a little thing design or whatever you want to call it. Project. <laughs> For um, my nephew, he and his wife are having a baby. So um, my great nephew that's going to be born in November. Uh, this is to make something out of it. <laughs> it says baby and it is in these little blocks plastic blocks that say baby and um just needed wanted that for the decoration that i'm doing so moving right along yeah another little headband i saw callen from crazy days of callen she had this one on and i thought it was so pretty and i decided to get one too it's got the beautiful like turquoise and pinks and yellows and you know it'll go with a lot and i thought it was so pretty it's like a satiny material polyester material kind of so there's that i picked up that one and then let's see what else i got in here okay i got some tea lights a couple of the little led tea lights this is 240 hours of light so I got those and I got these cute um, little candle holders and this reminds me of the movie Beetlejuice if you guys have seen that um, so I picked this these two up I'm gonna put the tea lights in there for when it's you know Halloween time and I'm gonna do a little project with these so I thought this was so cool and you know it could be a year-round thing but I'm thinking Beetlejuice <laughs> Beetlejuice vibes. So I got these two. So there's that. And the tea lights will go in there. And then I got this again in the home section. This is the Essentials brand and it's mop and broom holder. And I've already put one up in one of my closets. And this is another one. It has a little hook here in the middle. And it has these like little um, silicone things. You put the the handles through there and it holds it up pretty good so uh, this is the second one I bought so I was happy with that so I got another one and then I think this will be the last of it no I got a couple things let's see um, there's a flexible stencil and this is in the crafter square and it says farmers market isn't that gorgeous I absolutely love it and it has a little rooster in the middle it says farm fresh farmers market so you can use this for a lot of things yep you could spray paint and you know leave the image on it or paint it whatever you want to do and you could use it over and over again so that'll go in my craft stock there so I thought that was great and speaking of stuff craft stuff <laughs> here we go i love this it is autumn and it looks like a little envelope you could put little you know little notes or whatever in there and it has the beads on the top and the little string the twine to hang it up so beautiful or you can leave it like that as is put it on a tear tray or something so again really really pretty so that is for my little fall stuff and then I just got, uh, last but not least, I got a birthday bag for, to put one of my daughter's uh, gifts in. Her birthday's coming up soon. This is birthday wishes. It has a little balloons. And let's see. The sides are like a little stripe. <laughs> but I thought that was so pretty. I love it. Very pretty. So, I think that is it, guys. Yeah, that's it. So, if you would please, um, and you would uh, be inclined to do so, uh, let's see, you can subscribe to my channel. That will help me out a lot. Um, on my journey to 500, I am determined to get that before the end of October. Yeah, the end of October. So, we've got a ways to go. So, let's see. Subscribe to my channel if you will do so. Hit the like button. That helps me out in the YouTube world here. And also hit that notification bell. 
on your way out and hit all. You have to click it to all so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Yeah, you don't want to miss out. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, I also want to um, say again that Frugal J needs our help. Okay, she needs our prayers for her son, Joel. If you don't know, go over to Frugal J and her videos there. Um, and a way you can help her if you cannot donate to her GoFundMe, which is uh, on her page always. It's a GoFundMe for Joel um, for his expenses in the hospital and that. If you cannot donate through there, I think it's a $5 minimum you can do when you do... Um, GoFundMe. I don't think you can go any lower than five. So if you can donate five bucks, hey, I'm sure that'll help her out. Um, if not, um, watch her videos. Watch her old videos. You know, keep watching her videos. Um, don't click on skip ads because um, if you guys don't know, if you skip the ads, um, those that are monetized, I'm not monetized yet because I don't have a thousand. Or more subscribers that's what you have to have here on YouTube um, to be monetized which means you can make money on YouTube so if you um, would don't click off of her video her um, the any commercials or ads that are on her videos watch them don't skip because that's the way she can make money also that's called AdSense revenue that people make here on YouTube so those are a couple ways that you can help out. And, of course, always pray, pray for her and her family. They are going through a lot, and, you know, they need our help. They need our prayers um, monetarily. Uh, just, you know, let's help her out. She's our YouTube sis. If you're watching her videos and you're watching mine, go over to her. Show her some love. You know, Go to her GoFundMe, you know, donate what you can. Um, if not, watch her videos. You know, it doesn't take much to watch any of her videos and just not click off the the uh, skip ads. Don't skip the ads. Um, watch them so she can get some money that way. That's her only source of income now. So, and she needs our help, okay? Another person that is on here, um, Queen's Life, she is having a lots of surgeries. Um, she is um, uh, just got out of the hospital. She's had um, heart surgery. She's had two hip replacements. Um, she also has a GoFundMe, I think, that her sister has done for her. Um, so check out her GoFundMe. Donate when you can. Um, the same thing. Don't click off her ads so she can get the money and the revenue from that. Um, and that can help her out with her, you know, monetarily with her, you know, I'm sure medical expenses and stuff. You know, insurances do not cover 100% of everything. You know, um, a lot of people are in need. And especially now with everything going up, prices are going up, um, you know, gas going up, prices and everything. Everybody needs prayer and help. So... Do what you can. Be a good human, right? <laughs> We're all in this together. Um, you know, we can make the world a little bit better place. A little bit. If we just show a little compassion to one another. Um, just a little bit. Make someone's day. Smile. You know, it doesn't take much. You know, so you don't know what somebody's going through every day. So, you know, we may be on here, you know, trying to get through the day and smile and... <laughs> You know, and when we're posting videos here for you and showing our hauls and whatever. But inside, you know, people could be going through whatever. All of us. So, please be kind to one another and, and just show compassion. Right? So, with that being said, let's lift each other up and not put each other down. And I will see you in my next one. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Love you.